Hi folks, I'm super excited to speak with you about Pathways to a Green Card. A green card is simply the permission to live and work in the United States permanently. It comes with so many benefits and privileges that uh, foreign nationals and of course those of us here in the United States enjoy. Now, this video and other videos that I'm going to do over the next few weeks will only cover five big areas or pathways or avenues that people normally um, travel on or take to obtain a green card. The first is through family relationships. Uh, the second is through your employer, uh, or you can, may self-petition if you're an investor. Thirdly, it's through uh, humanitarian avenues uh, for folks who are seeking asylum or folks who have been victimized by crime or trafficking. Uh, fourthly, we're gonna speak about the diversity uh, slash lottery program that uh, a number of countries enjoy and then last we're going to talk about something called a registry so you're going to learn some new things in this video now the first thing that I want you to think about uh, when you approach this idea about applying for a green card to the United States is that it is a process it is not something that will happen overnight when I meet with my clients the first thing that I like to tell them is that this thing that we're talking about here is a journey, whether it is uh, getting a green card because uh, the person has an unlawful status here in the United States, um, or whether they're seeking citizenship or trying to get out of deportation proceedings. It's a process. And so we talk about the different phases that they have to go through. Here's what phase one looks like. Here's what phase two looks like. And so this way we have a long-term perspective because when it comes on to immigration, many of you you know that nothing happens overnight okay and unless there's some very unusual set of facts so that's the first thing I'd like you to keep in mind that you're about to embark on a journey okay the second thing that you need to think about is that this journey is going to take you through three agencies, three U.S. agencies, the first of which is the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services Agency, otherwise known as USCIS. USCIS is the first stop that you're going to make on this journey because this is the agency that either your family member or your employer uh, will uh, submit an immigrant visa petition on your behalf. Um, and so this agency approves the petition and then it goes to the next agency or the next stop, which is the Department of State. The Department of State considers your visa application. And this is where a lot of people are parked potentially for a very long time, depending on how you've sought your green card. What was the pathway that you've chosen? Was it uh, an immediate relative, such as your spouse or maybe your parent, who filed for you? In such cases, you're not going to be parked there very long at the Department of State. But for other people, people who have petitions that were submitted uh, by a brother or a sister, they are facing very, very long wait times at the Department of State. Now, let's say that your, your, your wait is over, your priority date has come up at the Department of State, and now you're ready to move on to the third phase, which is consular processing, which you, know, you have to go to the U.S. Embassy in your country and uh, go through an interview, answer a few questions, and you have to pass their level of scrutiny. And, it, and just by the way, uh, the consular, the U.S. Embassy, is of course under the jurisdiction of the Department of State. But the third agency specifically that you will touch is the Customs and Border Protection Agency, CBP. CBP makes the decision about who they are going to let into the United States. And so you usually touch CBP when you're at the airport or you're at some U.S. border, whether you're driving from Canada to the U.S. or whether you're flying from Europe uh, to the United States. You're going to encounter CBP. So, again, three big decision-making authorities that are involved in the green card uh, petition process. And so again, um, it's, it's a process, 
we're going to go through very different phases, but I want people to know that uh, it, to be hopeful and to be excited about the possibility of becoming a permanent resident of the United States. So stick with me over the next several weeks as we talk very, very specifically about how you may apply for a green card. If you like what you're seeing in this video, please like, comment, and certainly share it with other people. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.